I was born in Wagga, actually, in Wagga Base, I suppose, and uh, on the uh, 3rd of July, 1924. Mum said it was a cold, frosty night, and the doctor got called out from the hospital because um, it was an Aboriginal, no, not an Aboriginal, a Negro West singer, you know, a really wonderful singer this woman was. And she was uh, entertaining, and he got called out to come to deliver me, so that was my story of my arrival into the world. Then we came to live at Bowman, and then went on from there. Dad became a railway fiddler at Brushwood, and we came, became um, a permanent residents of Brushwood and suburb of Gamine, I suppose you call it, till I was school age, and well, I had to wait till I was seven to go to school. Because my brother was I don't much younger and I couldn't travel on the train on my own, so so then after school we used to um, go to the to to Mr to Mrs Suckling at the baker shop, and the one of the boys Suckling she, Ernie used to drive us up in the old horse and sulky to the station to put us on the train back to, but we had all that time from three o'clock or whatever half past till till the fruit train came through at quarter to five or five. When you think, oh, it's a long while ago. Oh, the Eisenhower family lived at the back of us. They had the farm. And they had a lovely orchard and everything. They were very generous with fruit. Dad and Mum, only Dad, a wage then was very, very basic. No telephones, no electric light. Uh, no, no, no conveniences like they live today. When they say today, oh dear, they're so busy. Mum would wash from them early in the morning. She'd boil the copper and she'd wash till three o'clock in the afternoon and then we'd go home and we'd have a lovely hot tea and beautiful steam puddings which today they don't eat sweets and oh I was the eldest of seven um I, I as, as I've just told you my birth date so that makes me 88 this year and my youngest brother is Ray and he'll be 69 this year I'm 19 years old um Ray Ray is a oh they all say he's been spoiled because we all spoiled him and um, he did very well for himself, but so all the other family did too. Uh, we, you know, we all we all made as best of our lives as we could. There was none of them that were um, no, no hopers. They all made something on themselves. Um, my sisters married into farms, and my brother Jack he went to the army, and he was a baker. And then he became in the, in the army. He became um, in the uh, te or telecom, not telecom. What did you call it in the Telephone thing, you know, oh, the mail sorter he was, yeah, he was a mail sorter. Bob, my other brother, ended up a policeman, so we'd had a variety of things in our lives. I started off at not quite 14, being working at Mrs Crozier's on the farm. Today you would laugh your head off, you know how far a dollar would go. Well, I got 10 shillings a week and, uh, and my keep. One half day a week and a, and a full day the next Sunday. <laughs> Can you imagine anyone, could you imagine a kid today of 14 going to work, scrubbing floors and ironing for four, five men and, and the two of us. They brought the water up from the dam for the, yeah, put lime in it or something to clear it, so that was your bath water and now today we turn a tap on and switch a light on and got electricity to do the ironing, but I ironed with three flat irons. Well, and in those days, you didn't take the clothes to the dry cleaners, so cream, cream cricket pants had to be pressed. And I think I would, I did that for nearly three years before I went to Germany to work at the refreshment rooms. That was hard work too, but that was a, that was a joy compared with with the other work. Yeah, that was in the days when the war was on. Troop trains had come through, and we'd serve perhaps 500 on a troop train. That would, we'd have trestles in the backyard and on the platform and they'd, they'd all, there would be a hot meal, can you imagine, coming from the refreshment rooms of the uh, journey refreshment from the kitchen with two chefs and a kitchen hand and, and we would wait on them. And then when the train was pulling out we'd be out with the tea towels most likely waving goodbye to the train, you know, for that. Yeah. But in those days there was a lot of um, fundraising for patriotic for you know sending comfort funds and everything. So you got if nothing to go to four and five dances a week with at Juno. That was how great Juno was for 
entertainment with dancing and that was unbelievable. Yeah. One of my funny experiences was when one night there was a chap called Jimmy Peed, P E A D, and and Dory Allison was, as we uh, later uh, was known, but her name was Dory Yupon, and it had in the paper when, when Dory, well, while Dory, Dory, Allison, Dory Yupon played Jimmy Peed, <laughs> accompanied to the year, and everybody thought it was quite good, you know, laughing about the things that, yeah. <laughs> Yupon and Peed, can you believe the two names would be like that? Oh, God. What do you think of it? Yep. Yeah.